This is Weasel. This is what he likes. And this. And especially this. This is where he lives. This is where he wants to live. And these are Weasel's friends. The object of Weasel is simple. Scratch, claw, and buy your way up from the downtown slums to the opulent splendor of Uptown, where Weasel wants to steal the key to the city. Because whoever holds the key to the city rules the city. Now, Weasel himself is a bit unconventional for a video game mascot. He's a devious, greedy little bastard, and he's not a hero or a good guy, but he's always hilarious and entertaining. Unfortunately, he's a biter. In this game, the exciting things a player gets to do are terrorize characters smaller than Weasel, find clever ways of defeating larger characters, steal items of value from other characters, while at the same time avoiding having Weasel's valuables stolen away from him. Once Weasel has enough loot, he'll redeem his stolen valuables at pawn shops for cash that he'll use to buy his way into other levels and bonus games. Weasel plays these fun bonus games to win color-coded passes to ride the City's Pneumatic Mail Tube System, which is a series of high-speed tubes that whisk Weasel rapidly across short distances to other areas of the city and to secret locations. Weasel can also use objects and smaller characters as weapons. Weasel's actions will have a visibly noticeable effect on the world around him. This is an early prototype of the game Weasel. It was developed to demonstrate world art concepts. Character design. and rudimentary gameplay. Weasel fights with other characters for cash, which he uses to progress through the game. Weasel can outsmart other characters in many devious ways. Weasel incorporates many different modes of travel. Weasel's play environments transition smoothly between 3D and into 2.5D. The following images demonstrate the densely populated playfields which are planned for the final version of Weasel. Weasel, the game that lets you be all that you shouldn't be.